Uh, hello. <laughs> Welcome back to the Jeff Show. If you don't know what this is, this is a product review show that we do every single day of the year. Like a little, like a little fine-tuned craftsman just crafting a show every single day of the year. And in reality, we really only do it whenever we feel like it. So it's not exactly every single day of the year. Uh, today is Monday, December 20th. My name is Jeff, and I am triggered by the patriarchy. And if you look who's here, it is my good friend and old neighbor, Pete. And he's a, he is triggered by excessive meat consumption. Pete, it is so good to see you. Oh, my. Oh, if you don't know why Pete is here, there is a story behind this. As you know, I fired Pete from the Jeff show last week. I had had enough. He had told me that he wouldn't get seven boosters to get uh, for the coronavirus. And I said, no, no, I will not have you in the same room with me anymore. Uh, and then on top of it, he had invaded the Capitol on January 7th. Thank God it was a day late, as you know, because you would be a person who had committed a felony. And we're very glad that you didn't do that. And I said to Pete, you know, enough, enough. You're not going to be on the Jeff show anymore. And then some things happen. But before we get into that, Peter, I have to say, you have a wonderful Christmas look going on. You almost look like a Santa Claus, if Santa Claus was from a foreign country. And I think that's pretty exciting because we know that Santa Claus does deliver Christmas presents to everyone around the world. He's utilitarian in that respect. And we're so excited to have you back. And I just have to say, I'm having such a good time looking at you and thinking about you. And the way you crochet and use your hands, I always had a feeling that you used your hands really nicely. Anyway, the story behind why Pete is back on the show. Well, Pete, you know, one day called me and it was late at night and I picked up the phone and I, I, I thought it was an emergency and he called me and he said, mate, we need to go out and have a, a coffee and a kiss. And he didn't say kiss, uh, and he didn't have a British dialect, but sometimes I like to remember things a certain way because it gives me a certain amount of joy. And so he, he called me late at night. It was probably about four in the morning. He said, mate, we got, we got to get a coffee and a kiss and really hash this out uh, and hash it out together and work on ourselves and work on our friendship and work on a way to salvage uh, the, uh, the, the Jeff show. Um, and I said, oh, you know what? Okay. Okay, I will consider uh, going out with you. And we went out and we went to a small coffee shop and we sat across from one another and we talked for hours. Do you remember that, Peter? And you kept telling me how much you missed the show. And then he revealed something to me that I didn't know. He revealed to me that he had already had COVID. Three times. Three times he had COVID. And what he explained to me, and I didn't know this because I had never spoken to a virologist about it before, but what he explained to me was that he has antibodies. And if you don't know what antibodies are, they are these little uh, pesky little um, angry robot kind of things. And they're in your body and you get them after you get sick. And what they do is they fight on your team and then they fight off anything that looks like them. They're almost like, um, you know, an army that's suicidal. It's like, ah, I don't like the way you look because you look like me and I'm going to kill you. Um, and that's sort of a sad way to look at it, but it's true. And he has so many antibodies against uh, COVID that he felt like he doesn't have to worry about anything. And after he explained this to me, and like I said, you're not a virologist, but the way you explained to me seemed very accurate. And I have to say, Pete, it is so good having you back on the show. And I'm so glad that you're here. And we are going to have a great time doing a product review. Now, this is an exciting week because we're getting close to Christmas. And I put it out there on, the, uh, on, on YouTube and I said, hey, hey, tell us a product to review. And if you love the show, smash that subscribe button, smash those, uh, you know, thumbs up buttons. But, but, but in the comments, tell us a product you want us to review. 
And, you know, Pete said to me, uh, check those comments. Somebody, somebody wrote, somebody wrote a comment and I looked down at the comment and look who it was. It is one of our favorite fans ever. And his name is Ethan, 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 Ethan. and Ethan is from uh, New, Ze- uh, New Zealand. Uh, or Australia, or one of those places that's not here, where they all sound the same, and they're about equidistant from uh, here, and they all look uh, similar. Uh, Ethan said that he likes to go out and chop down trees. (laughs) What a funny thing to do. I'm not sure why he would want to do that. But he said he's been trying to find an axe. He doesn't know where to uh, find one. And he wanted me to review an axe. And as being one of the top uh, product reviewers on the internet, I said, you know what, Ethan, I will do this for you. I will have a special show. I was going to take off the rest of the year, but I will have a special show to uh, to, uh, review an axe. Just for you, uh, so Peter, this is uh, this is when you would stop doing that and hand me the axe. Okay. As much as I'm happy to have uh, Peter back, one thing that I forgot about is that he's a lazy uh, jerk. This is an axe. <laughs> it's such a cool looking axe. And I've always loved axes. And this is made by uh, a, 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 C, E Corporation. Ace, Ace. And it is a one to one and a half uh, p- uh, pound axe. And it's hickory. Hickory. I'm not sure what that means, but it maybe it's the way the handle tastes. Uh, maybe it has a, a bacony uh, flavor. And it smells a little bacony, so it might be a bacony flavored uh, handle. What a fun thing to add to to a handle is a way to taste it. Now, why would you use something like this? That's really what we have to analyze because we want to know what we're doing is going to be done if we use this. And I think this is a great way, let's say, for Eaton, he needs to cut, chop down a tree, maybe build a little fort for himself because of the ongoing ba- pandemic. It's really bad, and people start attacking him in his house, and they do follow home armed robberies like they do in uh, Los Angeles. And you need an axe. And I think one thing about having an axe is making sure it's nice and small, that it has a sharp uh, edge, and that certainly is sharp. And I can feel it like this, and you You can feel it in your bones right there. And we're just going to, does that feel sharp, Peter? Yeah, I can tell by your face. I know you make that face whenever something sharp pokes at you. And I think this has a nice sharpness to it. It also has a nice, it also has a nice weight to it. And that's always good to have weight because you want to be able to really um, balance that uh, hammer in your hand, uh, so, sorry, axe in your hand. And, you know, that gives you power. And power in this world gives you superiority. And superiority gives you things like being a congressperson or a president or a part of the patriarchy. And don't get me started on that because, as I said before, that is something that will trigger me. And I don't like to talk about things that will trigger me. This is an incredible axe. Peter, should we tr- should we try it out? I see that you have a, a something that you're crocheting, and I thought maybe we could try to maybe cut, cut, into, that, cut into that string and see just how sharp this is. Okay, truce. Truce. Okay, that was a super cool axe. Eaton, Eaton, uh, Ace. Ace axes, if you have to buy it from America, you'll probably have to pay for a large amount of shipping, which, you know, uh, will certainly uh, be okay for you, considering one time we had to send you something in Australia because you won a contest and you made us pay tons of money in shipping. So it's our way of getting that money back. So go ahead and order it. Uh, an ace uh, axe. This has been a fun show. I'm so glad to have you back, Peter. You and your thick beard and your thick uh, legs and your muscular uh, 
body and your fun sweater. I just want to spend the Christmas season alone with you in a cabin somewhere, and maybe we can talk about that after this show. I am going to take the rest of the uh, year off. Uh, it has been a wonderful year, and I'm so excited to uh, celebrate Christmas, and I think, Peter, you know, I deserve it, and I think, Peter, you probably don't deserve it, but you know what? I'm going to be like um, Uncle Scrooge at the end of a, a, a of a Christmas carol, and I'm going to say, I let you have the rest of the year off. Here's some extra, sh um, uh, here's some extra pence and some uh, pennies. And just like on the Christmas Carol, and we are going to uh, go ahead and see you next year. That beard makes me just want to crawl up in it and um, peek out from it and say, hey, hey there, I'm Pete. And please just kiss me. <laughs>